Welcome to Pembroke House, the only home of its kind in the world specifically catering for the RMBT family. Our 50 bedded home provides excellent standards of care for sailors, Royal Marines and their wives and widows who require either residential or nursing care in their twilight years. The home boasts a proud history since 1952 when it was taken into use by the Trust as a residential home. Since then, the home has undergone substantial refurbishment and extension in 2000 to become the fine three-star home that it is today. Pembroke House residents enjoy social integration with both young and old and regularly participate in events with local schools and youth organisations. Of course, we have a very special relationship with kindred organisations such as the Royal Naval Reserves, Royal Naval Associations, Royal Marine Association, Submariners Association, LST and Landing Craft Association and HMS Collingwood, all of whom have not only been generous with their support but also offer fellowship to old comrades. We have adopted a self-help strategy to provide some of the items on our wish list and involve these groups, along with our residents, relatives and friends of Pembroke House, in a range of fundraising activities such as our annual garden party, which has been a real success. In a programme of continuous improvement, the home is now undergoing a further state-of-the-art extension to provide six more beds, a shop and salon, a garden terrace for the first floor nursing residents and outside toilet facilities which will make the beautiful grounds more user friendly. This new development will see the home operating at better than cost neutral and offer excellent value for money for its beneficiaries. I went into the Navy in June 1943, went to HMS R Rally and from there I went to HMS Falcari and from Valkari I went into barracks and went on a sloop. We did North Atlantic convoys and a, a convoy in the Med and then we came back for the second front and we kept uh, going backwards and forwards escorting troopers or food ships and <coughs> that went on to the end of October and then I got a draft hit into barracks where I did another course and in the February I went on to the Duke of York and uh, I had a slight argument with the sea in the, in the Australian Gulf and finished up in hospital and was discharged in February 1946. When I came out of the Navy I did a six months government course and then I went, I worked from then, the end of 1946. To 1990 when I retired I had I went to six different firms uh, mostly as an accountant the last one is a, an accountant and company secretary my wife died in 2002 I've been here six years seven months ten days because it came on the first of February I think it is a smashing place it's, I cannot find any fault with it at all that's no flannel, that's the truth. Socially we do all right, go all over the place. We have usually a social do every day, Monday through Friday. Occasionally we get choirs come, we go to places and uh, there's quite a social life here if you want to, you, to make use of it. Daisy, give me your answer to I'm half crazy over the love of you. It won't be a stylish marriage. I can't afford a carriage. But you'll look sweet upon the seat of a bicycle made for two. Mary, it's a long way to. No, it's just. <laughs>